Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about another super rare item from Cataclysm. So a few weeks ago, I published a video where I was talking about one of the super rare recipes from uh, Cataclysm and this one is the rhinestone sunglasses. So these very cool uh, glasses, as you can see, the sell rate is insane and the value is extremely good. So the, the pattern in order to get these uh, sunglasses is extremely, extremely rare and considered amongst some of the rarest patterns uh, ever added into the game. You have four other uh, patterns that have been added with the different rares and world bosses from Cataclysm. Uh, you have four monocles. Unfortunately, this one haven't been added to the transmog system yet. And then you have another item that is going to be the main topic of today's video and this is the top society uh, the high society top hat so as you can see this is a really cool looking hat uh, this is another pattern that you can get by killing all these different world bosses uh, in cataclysm and as you can see for now this is an item that is a white quality item and an item that is not part of the transmog system but i'm sure that uh, now you have been aware that Blizzard announced that maybe in the next patch or in the next expansion, some of the gray and white quality items will be added into the transmog system. And if this item is added, again, I'm saying if because we cannot say for sure that it will be part of the items that will be included. But if this item is included, it will definitely sell for a lot of gold and a lot of people are going to buy it, especially you need to notice that this is not like a cloth headpiece. This is just a normal hat. So it means that if it stays like that and they make, like, and Blizzard decides to make it a transmog item, even like plate, lever, and male armor, uh, where will be able to equip this item. So in my opinion, an item that is going to be very, very, very interesting and that I would recommend you definitely to try to farm as soon as possible. So, in my last video, I explained how you could try to farm these very rare recipes. And so I'm not going to go through all this explanation. I really encourage you to watch this video because I provided a lot of tips there already. But basically, in order to get these different recipes, there are a few things you need to do. First one, you need to just have the profession. So here it's going to be tailoring for this hat. Uh, and then um, jewel crafting for the different monocles and the glasses. And you just want to have the profession learned for Cataclysm for both of them. So you don't need to upgrade it. Even with just one out of 75, you will be able to drop the different recipes. Then what you want to do is kill all these different rare world bosses from Cataclysm. So you have different ones. You have one in the Twilight Islands that is located all around here, and this is uh, Julak Doom, as you can see, is just over there right now. So this one is uh, just there. Then you have one in Uldum. So in Uldum, you have Akam Hat. So he's just located there. This one is not moving, so it's pretty easy to find. But unfortunately, as this is a zone where a lot of people are farming over things, most of the time, this one is dead. Uh, then you have another one in um, the Abyssal Death here in Bashir. So this is uh, Mobus located just here. And you can also normally get it by killing Poseidus, this rare that is located all around uh, Bashir. So these are the first rares that you want to kill. Then you have in Deep Olm, you have Variona. So Variona is, is all around uh, this um, like map. So really, normally, you will be able to find her just by circling around. You need to go a little bit up in the sky, and you will be able to find her. And after that, so these are the main uh, world bosses you want to kill. And I think I'm missing one that is just over there. And this is Gar. Gar that is located just here. and just moving a little bit around, but you will find him very easily. So all these different rares have a respawn timer of three hours. And again, in my video, I explain how you could try to maximize the number of rares you're killing. 
So you can kill them multiple times a day and they will still drop all these different items. So you can really have maybe like, you know, 60, 70 kills a day if you're very effective. Again, you have two main strategies in order to get these different rares. The first one is to like use wall mode off and wall mode on in order to come into each of these areas, kill the world boss, go in a like pacific area where you can uh, like remove uh, one mode on and then come back, kill the rare again and then change uh, this location. Again, as I explained in my other videos, you can use a uh, different teleportation system to go back easily to Orgrimmar, turn on one mode on again and everything. And then the second solution is simply by like having different alts on different realms that are posted on these different spawn points and try, you know, all the time to log in, kill the rare if it's there and log off and do that again on every other realm. Keep in mind that, for instance, even if you want to craft the item on one of your main realm, let's say on European realms, you're playing on Kazakh and you want to craft the item there. Even if you get the recipe on one of your alts on the loop up realm, let's say, you can then learn the recipe and, the, and then just like pay for character transfer with gold in order to transfer back your character to your main realm and you will still be able to craft all these items on your main realm. So really for me, you should, if you want to maximize your chance, also explore the possibility of uh, farming these rares on other realms. So basically that's going to be uh, pretty much it for this. Keep in mind that really some people have like maybe like more than 16,000 kills on all these rares and they still haven't seen any of these patterns. Others have had, you know, like a couple hundred kills and got some of the recipes and patterns. So it's really pure RNG. Uh, just keep in mind that it's not something you're going to be able to get very easily, but this is why I think the prices are going to be so good when uh, the new transmog system is going to be released. And hopefully if this item makes it to the new transmog system, I think it will be a real gold mine. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Again, please go check my other videos to really understand a little bit better how you can farm these different rares. And yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, you are trying to get some of these rare recipes. I would love to know. And if you get one of them, well, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know exactly which rare and how you got it. So I will be back very soon with more guides and hopefully it will help you make some gold. And yeah, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.